In this video, I'm going to show you my five simple budgeting techniques I used to get out of the rat race for free. Hi everyone. So, why budget? We budget to have a gratifying financial progress. So guys, the secret to budgeting is not about having a whole list of things that you have to do, but it's about having principles, being disciplined, and having the determination to make your money work very hard for you. My basic rule of budgeting is 15% of my income goes to my financial freedom bucket. It's for me to keep and make it grow forever. Following the techniques that I'm about to teach you will make you start budgeting on purpose and treating your money like a vending machine where the result and the value generated are predictable rather than like a slot machine where the results are random and the odds are stacked against you. To start budgeting on purpose, we need to look at two vital elements. One, what is the purpose of your budget? And two, what does your budget focus on? I often ask my students what the purpose of their budget is. And I usually get a list like creating a legacy, investing, buying a car, buying a home, traveling, making more money, etc. These are all very different and you cannot possibly do this with one size fit all budget approach. My rule of thumb is one budget, one objective. If something in the budget is not helping you to achieve the objective, then it's distracting you from it and you should get rid of it immediately. So the question is, how do you ensure that you stick to one budget, one objective approach and you create wealth and your money work for you? If you wish to be a person of means, then you need to take control of your finances. And one way of doing that is through proper budgeting. So cautiously choosing to stick to a budget will aid your quest to build a legacy, which will eventually result in creating financial freedom. So every time I get money in my hand, this is how I treat it. I basically follow five principles where the key is to allocate a percentage proportion to each budget objective. So my five buckets or objectives of budgeting are one, necessity budget, two, financial freedom, which I call the legacy budget, three, education budget, four, entertainment budget, and five, charity budget. Your necessity budget caters for insurance, mortgage, groceries, loan payment, car payment, pocket allowance, and basically any type of expense that you cannot live without. I allocate 15% to my legacy border, which is my financial freedom bucket. That money doesn't really belong to me. It's money I put away for my kids and my grandkids. Money to buy assets. Money to buy things that do not break easily. Things that will mostly go up in value and put more money in my pocket. The third bucket is the education budget. I look at 10% of my income to education. Some people, depending on the size of their income, could allocate 5%. But basically, this is what we are doing now. So I will allocate 10% of my money. The education budget caters for buying data to watch educational programs like this one, paying for applied courses and seminars, enrolling for mentoring or coaching programs like my Property Ask Echo classes. You need to read books that are going to open your mind and get your mindset right. You need to get into the habit of reading and not just reading for general knowledge sake. Reading non-fiction books will help you understand how successful people 
build businesses. So the fourth objective of my budget is entertainment budget. The entertainment budget caters for things like buying a new car, traveling, throwing a party, or anything that tickles your fancy. The last but not the least is my charity budget. I allocate 10% of my income to it. Charity is very dear to my heart. You cannot be making money and not sharing some with others. And to me, that's what drives me. Charity can be within the family. The way I approach my charity budget is I split my 10% into 50-50, which is 5% goes to church as I am a Christian, and the other 5% goes to people that are in need. It could be buying food for a street kid or helping someone with their transport, or it could be just helping with anything. And you do that not feeling bad because you're treating people equally and you're helping. And that is the essence of making money. So in a nutshell, if for example, I'm paid 100 rand, this is how my budget will look like. Necessity will get 55 rand, legacy builder 15 rand, education 10 rand, entertainment 10 rand, and charity 10 rand. When you apply these five basic techniques of budgeting in your everyday life, not only will you be happy, free, sustainable, and ever ready to take advantage of the opportunities that may present themselves, but you also know the value of things and not the price. Bye.